Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb has suggested the three atlas is actually some type of alien technology. The numbers just changed, and with them the entire story of three atlas. For months, astronomers assumed this interstellar visitor would only skim past the red planet. Astronomers are continuing to track a newly spotted object, likely a comet, from outside our solar system. The interloper named Three Atlas was first spotted on July 1st, a spectacular but harmless flyby. But new calculations from Harvard's Loeb team and independent analysts inside NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory have revealed something extraordinary. This is not a rock, and in that case maybe it's targeting the inner solar system. We know that the trajectory is very well aligned with the planets. Three Atlas's trajectory is not just precise, it's actively tightening and the speed is changing. And now for the first time, the latest data show it could actually collide with Mars. Three Atlas is moving faster than anything humanity has ever tracked inbound from interstellar space, nearly 87 kilometers relative to the Sun as of this week. In practical terms, it's covering the distance between Earth and the Moon in less than 80 minutes. Every hour it travels, gravitational tugs from the Sun, Jupiter and Mars adjust its path by micrometers s, tiny changes that become enormous across tens of millions of kilometers. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter confirmed on its last pass the object's coma. Its hazy halo has doubled in brightness since August with strange high-energy spikes in ultraviolet. That's not typical cometary physics. The CO2 outgassing rate is far beyond what's seen in any solar system comet. Instead of stabilizing as it nears the Sun, Three Atlas is acting like a guided missile, self-adjusting, accelerating and course-correcting by releasing plumes of gas in deliberate pulses. The new trajectory analysis puts the closest approach to Mars at just 1.95 million kilometers on September 26, 2025. For a planetary astronomer, that's a hair's breadth. At this distance, Mars's own gravity can exert measurable influence on the comet, a piece of what would have become a planet in another star system. And here's a terrifying twist. A mere 10 kilometers s of additional velocity could tip the orbit enough to cause a direct hit only weeks later. Think about that. Three Atlas only needs a fraction of the momentum SpaceX's Starship uses to launch from Earth to change its destiny from flyby to collision. And those momentum changes are happening right now, hidden in its tail. Spectroscopy from Gemini South in Chile has revealed something no one can explain yet. Instead of a steady random venting of sublimated ices, Three Atlas's tail emits gas in clock-like pulses once every 17 minutes. Perfectly synchronized over days, these pulses produce micro-accelerations in the exact direction needed to align with Mars's orbital plane. No natural process in comet science produces a rhythm that precise. In comets, jets erupt when sunlight hits fresh ice patches, but those eruptions are chaotic. They don't repeat like a metronome. Here the pulses look engineered like attitude thrusters on a spacecraft. If the pattern holds by September 19th, the comet will have imparted enough lateral thrust to close the remaining missed distance to under 50,000 talodokilatas, closer than some Mars moons. A fast-moving object the size of Manhattan is hurtling towards our solar system and it will make its closest pass to Earth on December 17th. Comet, asteroid, or something else. A Harvard astrophysicist believes there's a strong likelihood this is a craft of alien origin, and the implications for humanity would be profound. It may not be a rock. It is called Three Atlas. Um, give me the best case for why you think this object may be extraterrestrial and may be alien form. Well, first, its brightness implies that if it represents reflection of sunlight from a solid object, it needs to be 20 kilometers in diameter. That's bigger than Manhattan Island. And this is a giant rock. The previous interstellar objects were hundreds of times smaller. So it just doesn't make sense that the third object from interstellar space will be 100 times bigger than the previous two, and we won't see anything in between. And if you look at the trajectory of this object, indeed, it's perfectly aligned with the plane of the planets around the sun. Fundamental. Question is, was this designed by intelligence out and one major outburst could then push it into a collision trajectory. At its current mass estimated at 10 billion tons of heavily irradiated ice and dust, with a metallic core perhaps 400 minutes across, a direct hit on Mars would release energy equivalent to 2 million megatons of TNT, 
That's thousands of times the largest nuclear device ever tested on Earth. The resulting crater could be 60 kilometer wide and 5 kilometer deep, throwing debris into Mars orbit and potentially injecting some into interplanetary space. And because Mars hosts dozens of active and planned spacecraft, from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to the Perseverance rover, an impact would not just scar the planet, but also shatter decades of scientific investment. Communications relays, climate monitoring, and life search missions could all be crippled overnight. Inside NASA, quiet preparations are underway. Leaked memos show mission planners already using the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter as a forward radar to image and track three atlases' inbound vector. High-gain antennas at Goldstone have been repurposed to bounce radar off the comet's core. The results are still classified, but one insider described them as unlike any echo we've ever recorded. Hard metallic returns instead of soft ice signatures. If these leaks are accurate, three atlas may not be just ice and dust at all. Its core might contain alloys impossible to form naturally in deep space, hinting at an artificial interior surrounded by sacrificial ice. Professor Avi Loeb and his student Adam Hibbard have long argued for a technological explanation. Their new paper under peer review but already circulating online lays out a scenario in which Three Atlas is a directed messenger launched by an advanced civilization. Instead of simply passing through our system, it would graze Mars to deposit probes or crash deliberately to release detectable materials from underground caches. They calculate that with each pulse of gas, the object is not losing mass randomly, but steering itself, sailing on its own sublimated exhaust. This would allow it to adjust trajectory as it enters our planetary neighborhood, the way a spacecraft uses reaction control thrusters. As if to confirm the worst fears, the European Space Agency's Mars Express has photographed three small glinting objects in high orbit over Mars, arranged in a triangle formation. Initially dismissed as cosmic rays, they appear in the same positions on three consecutive orbits. Could these be scout probes ejected by three Atlas in a previous pass? Loeb urges NASA to cross-reference these glints with archival MRO data to see if any matching metallic fragments are already on the surface. If found, it would be the first evidence of interstellar technology ever recorded, far more significant than the Mars meteorites we've studied on Earth. The timeline now looks chilling. September 26, 2025 marks three Atlas crossing Mars's orbital path. September 19 to 30 is the critical window for final course corrections via gas pulses. During this period, the comet's speed relative to Mars will be about 57 kilometers s. At that velocity, even a glancing strike could vaporize cubic kilometers of rock and eject dust into space. Critics argue no natural comet can change its path by 10 kilometers s using sublimation alone. That would take more than 10 billion joules of focused energy, far more than any comet outburst we've ever seen. Yet that's exactly what is implied by the trajectory. This energy gap is Loeb's strongest card. If we're seeing such a maneuver, something is providing power on a scale unknown to planetary science. Possibly fusion or antimatter reactors buried beneath the ice venting superheated gas as thrust. Meanwhile, amateur astronomers across the world have been asked to submit every image of three atlas they can capture. Some of these images show the tail splitting into three needle-like streams that glow green, an eerie aurora-like radiance pulsing at the same rhythm as the gas outbursts. At high exposure, the green beams seem to converge towards Mars as if painting a path. Even though Mars lies far from Earth, a massive impact could fling debris onto interplanetary trajectories. Some models show fragments reaching Earth's vicinity within a decade. If any of those fragments carried engineered microbes or self-replicating nanotechnology, they could infect not just Mars, but eventually the inner solar system. The European Space Agency, Roscosmos, CNSA and JAXA, have all quietly convened emergency task forces. No one will say publicly why, but insiders speak of planetary defense protocols. For the first time in history, scientists are openly discussing whether humanity should try to intercept or even destroy an interstellar object before it reaches another planet. The ultimate question remains, who or what is controlling Three Atlas? Is it a derelict craft from a civilization millions of years ahead of ours, its systems running on autopilot, or a deliberate probe testing our response? We don't know, but the data no longer fits the old narrative of a passive comet. Something about this object behaves like a vehicle, not a rock. By mid-September, 
Every major observatory from Hubble to JWST will be pointed at 3 Atlas. If its pulses continue, and if it crosses the last sliver of orbital gap, the Red Planet may witness an impact unlike anything since the late heavy bombardment 4 billion years ago. For scientists, it's the chance of a lifetime.